I just got out of bed because I feel called to make this idea a reality right now. So I wanted to touch again on how to journal without actually journaling, uh, which is kind of impractical, but somebody commented on my video and I've just been thinking about it. So here goes nothing. Okay. So the first thing that I will say again is that you want to take the small minded emotions that, that you kind of can't filter and uh, bring yourself to a place like physically, like where, where you're not going to be distracted. Like, so I, in the first video that I made about this, I made the example of the gym right? You go there and you just go there to work out. So there's not really a distraction, right? You're not really going there to do anything other than the gym or right. Um, that's why I have the journal because you go to the journal. All right. Or at work when it's not busy and or or even when you're just doing some little tasks, you know, breaking down the boxes, whatever. Okay. All of these places have a thing in common is the one, the one thing that all these places have in common is that you can kind of, you know, be mindless in a sense, but that's how you journal without journaling is to kind of be mindless. Okay. And when I say be mindless, I, I mean, you know, you don't have time to like worry about emotions while you're trying to focus on, on something like tedious, you know? something tactile like the gym or writing or drawing or or playing an instrument or working out okay you don't really have the time necessarily to um to to dwell on your emotions because you're trying to do something that effectively has a result and that's what you want to do to journal without journaling is to have a result okay so translate the small mind feelings right here into language or something else you know that's why i say writing art exercise you know you're focusing on the form you're focusing on the words okay so to journal without journaling you're you're gonna want to focus you're just gonna want to focus on the words okay you're not trying to focus on the emotions. You're not trying to focus on what you feel. You're trying to focus on the words for what you feel. You're trying to focus on translating what you're feeling into words, okay? And this is, I mean, you need the journal for this, okay? But somebody asked me, so I'm trying to just do this mental gymnastics right now. Okay, I'm trying to translate my feelings about the topic into words. All right? So... Here's, here's another way to look at it. When you're doing a task, right? There's a level of presence that you need to have. All right. You, it's hard to be crying and doing your job at the same time. It's hard to be crying and working out at the same time. You know, it's hard to vent to somebody and work out at the same time. It's hard to really you know vent to this book okay you have to explain it in words okay you can't explain it as i've said in previous videos and you can't explain it in word warfare with little bits of emotion sprinkled in you have to explain it with words so You're going to have to get this thought out. You're going to have to get this feeling out. Or into words or into a form. In some way. That is legible to you. So whatever way you can come to a conclusion that is able that, that you're able to understand or read. Whatever way that you're able to do that is going to be good for you now like i've said before the term extended release like getting your emotions out and extended release like you know just being emotional being passive aggressive you know that's kind of what i did with music for the past five years 
which really, you know, helped me do a little bit of work along the way. I was, you know, kind of being very emotional with with the pieces that I was creating. And it's not to say that they're great or anything, but it's it's a journal. So so I would say the the way to journal without journaling is to is to try to make sense of your emotions. I don't know. Like I don't know where to go with this other than write it down. Okay. Because it's hard for me to tell you to do that if you haven't written it down, if you haven't been expressing your emotions in some way, if you haven't been taking out your emotions in healthy ways. All right, so I'm gonna stop there because that's all.